Here is a case of renal stone where we have used a flexible scope ultrasound and CM for puncture and dilatation in one position. 42 years old female patient right URSL was done for 6 mm stone and stented and referred to us for 2.5 cm calculus in trirenal pelvis. Actually this patient had a, a suspected a PUJ because of the IVP because of the CT picture on the right side large dilated pelvis so DTPS scan is done it shows no obstruction so we thought we will attempt uh, RIRS patient has, uh, was more willing for RIRS we explained that because it is a large stone PCNL may be required so for RIRS first uh, step because it was stented we don't have a problem we have put uh, access sheath and then went inside After putting the access sheath, we went with the disposable flexible scope. This is the uh, BioRad Indovasive disposable uh, scope, no conflicts of interest. Vision is good, large stone hard. So flexible scope will give more idea about the hardness of the stone and volume of the stone. After seeing this, we concluded that we will do PCNL. Because partial PUJ suspected RIRS is difficult. We inspected all the calices, upper calyx, middle calyx, middle posterior and inferior now uh, the ultrasound is done ultrasound reason is uh, it is more uh, uh, virtual where we can see three dimensionally see the flexible scope movement in the middle calyx where liver is there so we cannot puncture this calyx it will be little high then we came the lower calyx part where still edge of the liver is there then we came to the inferior calyx part so in hepatomegaly, splenomegaly, relation with ribs, pleura, all this can be seen, which is a well-known fact. So ultrasound uh, uh, will tell where is the kidney, which are the calyces. And in the same calyx, uh, through the flexible scope, we assessed that the stone can be assessed and punctured. So ultrasound has given idea which calyx is good. Flexible scope has given idea. Now this is a puncture which has come through the center of the calyx. Absolutely uh, blood-free uh, fluid has come. After that, the procedure is the same like any other PCNL. Only thing is that we were observing each uh, uh, dilator coming through the uh, calyx into the pelvis, which is not necessary. Few seconds of the CM is also uh, acceptable. Last video we presented and lot of uh, criticism was there, uh, saying that a small 10 seconds CM will not happen. Uh, dilatation under the uh, CM guidance and the flexible scopy guidance is again controversial because the tract may get uh, deviated. So CM usage is uh, uh, better. After the dilatation, we went up to the maximum dilatation and removed the stone because the volume is big. The idea of sharing this video is only uh, when there is a large stone, the flexible scopy in one position that is modified Valdivia position, we can do like uretric catheter insertion in future flexible scope can be inserted in two to five minutes of time quickly assess the pelvic initial system see the access to the stone whether it is multiple stone or single stone and then plan the puncture that is what we wanted to show in this video it is a simple case so even without that puncture might have been done by anybody easily but if the compact system is there if two three stones are there which calyx will give favor and that calyx can be selected and whether that calyx uh, is uh, ideal or not ultrasounds will tell because outside the kidney ultrasound only can tell visra see now the flexible scope is inspecting after the stone removal all the calyces this is an additional advantage where uh, in normal pcnl we may not have this facility so flexible scope is a very small procedure especially with the recent small scopes you can inspect all the calyces look for the stone free rate because small fragment if it is there they can be held with forceps and then given to the nephroscopy person so combined use of ultrasound flexible scope and CM may improve our confidence uh, to do the case of course these are all not necessary in all the cases thank you